What is Poppin' Calisthenics fam? My name is Brennan Myers and today I want to discuss how to gain 30 pounds of lean muscle in one month. Now, hold on, before you start commenting and saying, hey, you're so full of shit, Brennan, uh, what you're saying is crap, or before you get so excited that you think this is actually true, this is completely clickbait and this is for good reason though. You know, I've seen what the industry has to offer over the past 10 years, especially new. Uh, just recently, there's so many unrealistic expectations and that's why I call it the unrealistic industry because there's these supplements, there's this that's gonna burn off all that fat for you and all of this crap and they give you fake people with fake results. They might Photoshop a little bit and there's been testimonials of, of how people have worked for companies where they've done this. They've, they've Photoshopped a little bit of the bodies, you know, just took people that they didn't even really train, they were just friends and they used them as results. It's BS. And then also, they're not disclosing things in the fine print about this supplement is doing this for you, but hey, in, in the fine print it might say something that's completely the opposite, which makes it legal, which is crap. And actually, this is something that is relevant to my own life just recently. So I went to a dealership just yesterday and I was going into the shop going to buy a new car and with the ad on Facebook, it specifically told me that for $76 per month, no money out of pocket, no cash out of pocket, I will be able to get a brand new car. Wow. Okay, so I went into the dealership, I was super hyped. There was fine print on the actual ad itself all the way at the bottom left, something you could not even see. But the point I'm trying to make is when I got into the dealership and I went to go purchase this car, I was super excited, hey, cheap car, really fun to drive, whatever. They told me, oh, no, you're gonna have to put $2,500 down and then you're gonna also have to pay more for the sports package and whatever. Obviously, I knew that about the sports package, but I didn't know about the $2,500 down. This is in correlation to what I'm referencing in this video. When someone tells you you're gonna gain 30 pounds of, of weight, in a month or if someone tells you, hey, buy my program, it's going to build you this X amount of muscle in 14 days. Look at it from the perspective of ah, maybe this isn't true and that will actually bring you to the results that you want even quicker because you can make an educated decision off of it. So outside of that, you know, realistically, how much weight can you gain in one month? This is extremely important. I would say the standard for a novice, a beginner in your case, is going to be four to six pounds of lean muscle in a month. For example, William followed Body Evo, one of my Body Evo programs, the only body weight training program here. He gained 10 kilograms in six months. Absolutely insane. This is about 22 pounds. This means he gained approximately 3.7 pounds of muscle per month. He had been training before a little bit, but not at a crazy high level with resistance like my training program has. So he was doing you know, different cardio exercises, some HIIT training, but nothing like the Body Evo program. And he also lost 6% body fat. Now, this is more realistic, right? Because I told you, if you're a novice, you're, if, you're, if you're a beginner, you haven't done resistance training, you can build five to seven pounds, four to six pounds of lean muscle per month. Now, if you've been training for some time, like myself, or you're not a teenager who's growing, going through a growth spurt, you should be looking at and guesstimate around 0.5 pounds of muscle, okay? And this is extremely, extremely important to understand, 0.5 pounds of muscle per week. And that's only two pounds of muscle per month. That's incredible results though. And you have to understand that. Stop creating these unrealistic expectations for yourself. Understand where you are and you will gain weight fast. Now, what if you gain 10 pounds extremely, extremely quickly, right? And you say, oh, I gained 10 pounds. Like with my Body Evo system, when I got back, you know, I wasn't training for a while and then I got back into it. You know, those were realistic weight gains. But I never said I only built lean muscle off of, you know, I gained eight pounds of lean muscle. I gained a lot of lean muscle, but I had a lot of water weight. This is what it comes with. Some water weight, a bit more fat, but obviously a lot of muscle. Real results, yes, you will indeed look a lot better, but is it completely lean muscle? No. So don't give in to the BS. That's all I'm trying to say. Unless you're taking testosterone, HGH, trend, or any of that other bullshit you don't need, build muscle, 
and I want you to make it simple. I want you to understand that, hey, I don't need crap. I don't need all these negative things in my life that are gonna hurt me or harm my body. You can build incredible muscle. It just takes time and you have to trust the process. So three things that I want you to need just to follow and learn through this video, okay? After all of what I just said, things that you could take away immediately and put them into building lean muscle for yourself. General macronutrients and caloric intake. This is extremely important. So you wanna be in a surplus if you wanna build lean muscle, but at the same time, if you're someone with a lot of fat, you just wanna lose that fat so you can see more lean muscle. But in this case, you wanna eat 50% uh, carbohydrates, and this is very general. It's all according to your body. Once you start eating this way, you make adjustments. You feel what you need to change. So 50% carbohydrates, 30% proteins, 20% fats. They're all extremely important to be consuming. Now, if you're skinnier, you want a higher intake. So let's just say uh, you want 500 calories more per day intake so that you will gain one pound per week. That's what it is. 3,500 calories per week, that's what you're gonna get. Okay, I want you to actually add 200 calories on top of that. So now you're consuming 700 calories. Remember, if you have high intensity workouts, if you're burning calories a lot, your metabolism, it will require more food throughout the day. You might even go 1,000 calories more. I did that growing up and it worked. Okay, so you need proper programming, you need hypertrophy and strength focused training. That's so, so important. Remember, this will mean if you're higher intensity and you're in the gym, 70 to 85% of one rep max, and then six to 10 repetitions. This is size focused, remember. And then with body weight only, you wanna shoot for six to 13 reps. I just did this in a recent video, and much higher volume and intensity. This means your variation is gonna increase, okay? So for instance, for a body weight movement, you would do a handstand push up seven reps, obviously this is for me, advanced, five sets, your rest periods are, about, are gonna be about a minute and 20 seconds, okay? So this is really important for body weight movements, variations is crazy high, and then with your strength gains in the gym, it's gonna be exactly as I said for hypertrophy, okay? Um, and then third, you need to be incorporating compound movements. This is so, so just, it will help in the process so much more than you could ever imagine. And what this means is you're focusing on multi-joint movements. So in the gym, it would be bench squats, overhead press, and deadlift. Sorry for the, the cop over there, but I'm a savage. I just keep on rolling through. I'm a savage. Josh is laughing over there. And then outside, if you're doing only body weight training, or you're at the park, you're gonna be doing, one second. It's going by. Ambulance, okay, saving lives, I love it. And then if you're outside, you're gonna be following plow metrics, okay, for your legs, especially high intensity jumps. This is going to help build muscle on those legs, power, strength. You also wanna be focusing on more, just increased variation movements. So planche push-up variations, I have those on my channel. Assisted handstand push-ups, extremely important, rather than just doing handstand push-ups, assisted handstand push-ups, and then variations of pull-ups. So when you focus on all of these three things, you will build incredible muscle, just like William and many others who have been following my specific programs. Just keep on grinding, just keep on focusing on what is real, what is true, and the things that I said in this video and every single video, and you will be on the right path to building a lot of lean muscle, just like William did. And remember, don't set unrealistic expectations. Please do not. You will not gain five pounds in a week. It's just not gonna happen. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you did. Let me know if you would like any new videos. I'm always interested in hearing what your thoughts are. Hashtag calisthenics. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Brennan, and I'll see you next time. I'm not gonna dab, I'm not gonna dab. Okay, I'm not. Ugh.